and welcome back to Storytime with the Twinks. I'm Mason. I'm Madison. <laughs> and today, and today we'll be reading Billy Brown's Pinkin by Andrew Johnson and E.B. Lewis, well, illustrated by E.B. Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> Lily Brown loves her mama, daddy, and baby brother, and the world they live in. Sometimes she spins around her room, thinking about their world, and it's wondrous. Yes, she loves the family. <laughs> but when Lily Brown paints, her world starts to change. change. <laughs> There's stars and she's painting. The sunlight turns to stars and Lily begins to fly around them. All the universe is one big colorful splash. The stars circle the planets in Lily Brown's painting. It's Lily with her painting. Happy. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and sometimes they come down to Earth to yes, hang out. Wait, what? That's not. Oh. <laughs> And sometimes they come down to earth to hang around sidewalk cafes and shine when the sun goes down. Hallelujah. Is the stars yeah. coming down Hallelujah. from the sky? When Lily Brown paints the trees that she walked past. The yeah. trees she walked past on her way to school wore hats yeah. and drank tea on cool days with other trees and shrubbery. They know Lily and bow to her. The trees are wearing hats mm. and sipping tea yeah. and gossiping. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Haas, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. And listen, I have your name and your number. When Lily Brown paints fruit at the corner market, it is striped and polka dotted. (laughs) It speaks to people and laughs out loud. When people up. Why is it so loud? The fruit is so. There is a 24 hour prayer call going on downstairs, well, on the phone and online. And so we thought we would change locations, but the pastor is being very loud downstairs and is disrupting story time with the twinks. So, so we're going to see if we can continue on with the book. Hey, Jessica. Hi. We'll see if we can continue on with the book once he finishes. Once he calms down a little bit, but what we'll do is I will make sure that they record it and come back on with the story where it's loud and clear and that way everyone can enjoy it. But thank you for tuning in. They're going to pick back up um, and hopefully we can get through the book. All right. (laughs) Thanks for watching. All right. Now you're going to have to just start over. I'll have to start over. Mm -hmm. Because no one knows what you did. <laughs> Louder this time. Okay. Mm. Lily Brown loves her mama, daddy, and baby brother, and the world they live in. Sometimes she spends around her room thinking about their world, and it's wondrous. Lily Brown and her family. Hey, 
Woodrow and Miss Edmonds. But when Lily Brown paints, her world starts to change. That's Lily and she's painting stars. <clears throat> the sunlight turns to stars and Lily begins flying around them. All the universe is one big colorful splash. The stars circle the planets and Lily Brown's paintings. Lily's floating with the stars and the sun. <laughs> <clears throat> And sometimes they come down to earth to hang around sidewalk cafes and shine when the sun goes down. So the stars are walking around down on earth. <laughs> earth. Down on earth at a cafe. When Lily Brown paints, mm -hmm. the trees that she walks past on her way to school wear hats and drink teas. On cool days with other trees and shrubbery, so they know Lily and bow to her. <laughs> but those are the trees with uh, the hats. Good friends work, tea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it still works. It still works. We're really thankful for, for her interceding. When Lily Brown paints fruit, <laughs> paints fruit yeah, at the corner market. Wrong, it is striped and polka dotted. It speaks to people and then laughs out loud. When people put the fruit in bags to take home, the apples sing all the way there. And believe it or not, it is all the way out one o'clock. That's all the fruits. Yeah, man. That she has painted. We are all today. And our next prayer warrior is live in him. The flesh. In Lily Brown's painting, the path to the yeah, park becomes a wild animal living room with antelopes lounging and alligators on the phone. Yeah, Lily always so, remembers to draw them a treat. Um, yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, so listen, Owen Bryant, uh, yeah, like Rich just mentioned, is a, is a Morehouse man. Uh, listen, it sounds crazy to say this, but we met in the mid-90s. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> in Lily Brown's paintings, softly blowing rose colored wind brings voices from across the ocean to tell stories that she has never heard. Is that regardless of what was going on, their brother would make his way across the street to Mount Moriah Baptist Church every Sunday. Uh, he was there for for uh, the male chorus rehearsal uh, back in the day. Then she listens and, and paints uh, with blues and oranges they was, they to let the wind know she has heard. Back then, you know, I'm a soldier in the army of the dog. <laughs> That's Lily Painter. And, you know, those good old and all those other songs. Owen was 19, but he was in the middle chorus, but right along. Sometimes Lily herself <laughs> walks around in her paintings or sails away through fields of red corn and purple painted skyscrapers. So she's in a boat and she's floating around in her painting. In Lily Brown's paintings, the color of people, places, and things change with their hearts. People walk upside down, and the buildings on streets dance with airplane, airplanes flying above, and it's another world. The people are upside down, houses are moving. Cute. <laughs> Lily paints all that she sees and feels her own way. She puts her world of color and light on anything she can find. It's magical. <laughs> so these are more of the paintings. Lily. But at the end of the day, when Lily Brown is about to put her paint away, she remembers her mama's smile, her daddy's eyes, and the way her baby brother holds her hand before he goes to sleep. She's also a professor, you know, down in Durham. And she's a professor. 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 And she's
Like Lily and her brothers holding her hand, their parents. I guess to talk about the dad's eye, if it's a more common eye. It's their world again, and it's wondrous. That's their house, that's their world. So what can you tell us about creativity? Um, creativity is a great thing because it lets you imagine anything. Um, it lets you be creative and express what you think. But when you come back to the real world, it's still great. Do you all create anything? I draw. <laughs> Nothing. You draw. Yes. I draw. I write. That's creating. Yeah. So, do you have any suggestions to to children or students or other people? Like while we're home with the you know the stay at home orders, what are some things people could do creatively to create and take themselves to another world? Draw, paint, go outside. Draw, paint, go outside. <laughs> What else? Don't collect sticks. Um, <laughs> make scrapbooks. Make a paint. Building. No, not building. We could make a scrapbook. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but while we're home for the closure, this is the perfect time. <laughs> I'm just barding their video today. <laughs> <laughs> to do some things creative, to take the time to create, to build, to write, to draw, whatever. Don't leave. Come back. Um, so we are going to record just so we can have a, a clear um, video. video with Lily Brown's paintings because it's really great. The graphics are beautiful. So tell them what you're going to read next and when. Okay. Um, Next time we'll be reading My Pop-Up and Me by Irene Smalls, illustrated by Kathy Ann Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining and see you guys next time. See you Friday. <laughs> it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday.